Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked a batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. Here's Oswaldo Arcia. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Yeah, he's getting some good run on that two-seamer. It's moving better than it was even a few innings ago. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here. Nothing in two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Make it seven in a row. My gracious, he is simply unhittable right now. Two away. And so far, that's been the tail of this game in a nutshell. Way, way too many pitches being swung at out of the strike zone. I mean, it's almost getting comical now. And if I'm pitching on the mound, I wouldn't throw anything close to the strike zone. Into the box now, Kurt Suzuki. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Good changeup there as he takes command 0-2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. Down go the Twins in order. Still 8 to 2. Corey Dickerson comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Buxton giving chase, and that's the first out of the inning. One of the great now things about the play he right made right there is it's really Steven difficult to run Shusha. after a ball that long and not have the ball bounce up and down in the air while you're running. You got to run on your toes. That's what he did. That keeps the ball smooth and makes it easier to catch. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Standing in now, Steven Souza. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Hit hard to short. Nunez comes up with it. Throw on to first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. The center fielder, number eight, Desmond Jennings. Desmond Jennings stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Eight runs and even 10 hits. And no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Up top, it's 2 0. Oh. When you're down by six on the mound, you've got to at least throw strikes here. Three and O oh now. Well, I think he got the pitch he was looking for right there, but not in the right location. So that's a great job of just holding up the swing. Swung on and hit deep to left center. Buxton racing back. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he'll make it into third here with a two-out triple. Up next for Tampa Bay. Catcher. I'll tell you what. There aren't a whole lot of ballparks in this league where that isn't a home run. I mean, he had to hit that thing a good 400 feet plus, but... At least he'll have three bases to show for it. 
Kurt Casale will get a chance now as he hopes to cash in following the two-out triple. Well, the inning didn't look like it was going anywhere with those two quick outs, but then all of a sudden, now the pressure's on here with a runner down at third. That's He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1-0. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. Here comes the 1-0. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. And just fire that thing in there. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hard liner towards short. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now a 9-2 ball game. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. Everybody's getting into the act now. Right on the heels of the triple, he comes through with a double of his own, and that's going to extend that lead out even further. Logan Forsythe digs in he reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat and they take another single right here too no doubt runner in scoring position so any ball into the outfield probably gets him home right down Broadway that time strike one that look says it all in the third base dugout that's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight is it Hit down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. A run for the race thanks to the RBI double. Five innings complete, and it's now a 9-2 ball game. Byron Buxton will come in now to begin their half of the sixth, and it's been a struggle for them so far. Just three hits through the first five innings. And that's certainly not going to be enough to get the job done. And as the scoreboard bears out, if they want to get back in this game, I think this is the inning that it needs to start happening. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Now this is up and no, in, one and one. I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. And you know, he really doesn't I'm have to throw that result. change up all that Short much stop. for it to be an effective Good pitch. Mono. And you can see what his breakdown is so far. Eduardo Nunez will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. Archer looks in. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. Well, he's thrown a first pitch strike to about 60% of the batters he's faced, so that's a pretty good percentage because we're into the middle innings right now. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air out to center field. And quickly, two are gone now here in the visitors' half of the sixth. The batter, number two, second baseman, Brian Dozier. Brian Dozier will dig in. He had an RBI double back in the first inning of this one. Ground ball left side. Longoria's got it. On to Morrison at first, and that ends the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. They're down by a touchdown. It's not. Brad Miller gets things started here in the sixth for the and hometown team. The shortstop. 
Brad Miller. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 and 0. And that's going to give him another great hitting count here on 2 and 0. No wonder they're up by 7. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2 and 1. Sent foul again and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still 2 and 2. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. There you see Evan Longoria waiting next. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there. Evan Longoria will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at-bat in the fourth inning, and what a big one it was. A three-run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ball game to this point. Drives it the other way to deep right. Looking up is Arcia. Gone! A two-run home run for Evan Longoria, his second of the game, as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Yeah, make it four home runs as a team now after that last one, and this guy's led the way with two of those four. I tell you, I wouldn't give this guy anything to hit next time around. He's as locked in as you can get. Now batting. Into the box, Logan Morrison. Logan Morrison. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Oh, man, if you're a pitching coach, you might want to update your resume after this performance. His guys have been brutal. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally, this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Breaks his bat as this ball's lifted into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. And, and this is right where they wanted this thing. You see it on show track there? They wanted to take him up around the letters, hoping for the pop up, and that's exactly what they got. Steve Pierce will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Into the seats, 0-1. One out, nobody on. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. The ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Left field and deep. Grossman looks up. Gone! Solo shot here to left, his second home run of the game.